let's take a look at the new IDX plugin from Waves and Waves describes this as an intelligent dynamics plugin. And this is the type of plugin that it's not an emulation of an old piece of hardware gear. This is more like a new way of thinking of audio processing where the plugin kind of listens to the signal coming in, then making some adjustments and we have a few parameters to, to tweak and then spits out something else. So let's have a look and a listen to this new plugin from Waves. All right, so this is what it looks like. And we have the speed control, which uh, if you were to use uh, an old compressor, this is similar to attack and release. Then we have the amount, and this is kind of your threshold. And then you have this wheel, which is kind of a tilt shift uh, type of thing where you can uh, compress the low end less or the high end less. And that's basically it. Uh, you actually have one more parameter and it's this uh, crosshair where you can kind of uh, choose one frequency or, or, uh, or, or a range of frequencies to compress uh, less or more. Then up here you see the, the blue bars uh, indicating the signal coming in. And if you turn this knob, uh, which is kind of lowering the threshold, you will see these uh, pink bars and these uh, indicate the, the gain reduction. And the IDX comes in a standard mode and then in a live mode. And since I've been using it mainly on the LV1 console, I've been using, of course, the live mode. And this one doesn't add any latency, but it's quite CPU heavy. The sound, however, should be identical on both the standard version and on the live version. All right, enough talking, let's have a listen. And let's start with the drum group. So uh, all of these drums go into the, the group. They are uh, raw track. There are no processing whatsoever on, on anything but the drum group. And uh, let's turn this on and uh, let's just go nuts. So that's a lot of compression and uh, we actually have this mix knob. So let's bring this down to zero and then just blend in this crazy compression. So this is what it sounds in its kind of most extreme setting, but we can actually dial this back a bit and uh, have a bit more uh, controlled and natural drum sound. So where I really think the IDX shines is on bass. So let's have a listen.
So with this setting I get a cleaner bass tone and uh, a lot more string sound. Then if you want a bit more aggressive bass sound with uh, a bit more attack, you just flip this one too hard and set the speed at its uh, fastest position and then you have this. So let's try it on vocals and especially on vocals it's easy to, to be a bit carried away and just do too much. So let's do that. De har skrikit hela dagen i de dövas parad har du skrivit dina sagor och alla hjältar har somnat här i helgonas dag. De har skrikit hela dagen i de dövas parad har du har skrivit dina sagor och alla hjältar har somnat här i helgonas dag. De har skrikit hela dagen och alla hjältar har somnat här i helgonas dag. De har skrikit hela dagen i de dövas parad har du har skrivit dina sagor. Och alla hjältar har somnat här i helgonas dag. De har skrikit hela dagen i de dövas parad. Har du har skrivit dina sagor. Och alla hjältar har somnat. So one way is to do like this, to compress it way too much and then blend the, the compressed signal with the, the raw signal. Uh, another way would be of course to uh, have it 100% wet and then just be uh, a bit more uh, subtle. Ago, och alla hjältar har somnat här i helgonas dag. De har skrikit hela dagen i de dövas parad. Har du har skrivit dina sagor och alla hjältar har somnat här i helgonas dag. De har skrikit hela dagen i de dövas parad har du har skrivit dina sagor. So with this setting it kind of cleans up the muddiness and give it uh, a bit more presence. And you can of course go full nuke mode and have it uh, like a DBX 160 type of thing. So then you just go to hard, set the speed at its fastest and then just hit it. And then we have this. Där har somnat här i helgonas dag. De har skrikit hela dagen i de dövas parad. Har du har skrivit dina sagor. Och alla hjältar har somnat här i helgonas dag. De har skrikit hela dagen. So that's a quick overview of the uh, IDX plugin. I've been using this live for a few weeks and I really like that I can work so fast with, with this one. Uh, it's basically uh, what I would consider a threshold and, and release. Uh, and then I have some, some EQ uh, tweaks if, uh, if needed. So the way I've been using it is uh, that I have it first in my signal chain uh, and it kind of uh, cleans up the signal in a way so uh, then I don't have to do as much processing uh, down the line. What I didn't mention is the auto gain and the quick match. On the version of the plugin that I've been using these have not worked all that great so uh, I've not been been using these I've been uh, uh, manually just lowering the, the output to, to compensate from, uh, for the extra gain. The one downside with the IDX, uh, at least the, the, the live version, is that it's quite CPU heavy. So uh, I now have 13 instances of the IDX and I'm at 38% of on the uh, uh, extreme server. So let's turn these 13 off and see where we are at. Then we go down to... Uh, Seven, yeah. So, so uh, thirteen plugins take roughly thirty percent uh, of the total CPU power on the uh, extreme server. 
All right, make sure to download uh, the IDX plugin, link in the description. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Take care.